in the actuators that do not have that, uh, that feature. For example, our LF series actuators do not. <clears throat> what you can do, you can take your anti-rotation strap, attach one, just one side of it, then put the actuator on the damper shaft, and then offset the actuator about five degrees, tighten down the clamp, and then using your own strength, your own torque, twist it into place, swing that anti-rotation strap up, and then secure the other end of that anti-rotation strap. So basically, you're providing the tighter seal just by using the leverage of the actuator. So, who did not get? Right, right. Oh. So, these LF actuators that we've, uh, that Brian's handed out, these are dash SR, which does not mean spring return. Right. Uh, so these are modulating actuators. We're going to wire these up. You can wire the red wire to the black common that's under the voltage knob. Red again goes your 24 volt hot. And your white wire can go to your voltage outlet. And then I think the last one is a green wire. Yeah. Green wires can go to the uh, the feedback in. Once you have it wired, you can turn it on. Um, have the, you can see the switches at the top, have the switches set to volt and, uh, and out, output. Switch that uh, the one switch to be feedback instead of output. It will show you where the actuator is at in that travel. <clears throat> if you set it to output, what it's going to show you is exactly what you dialed in. <laughs> Feedback. So that's what it, that's where it's at in its current position. It's moving to whatever this is set. So it's at about five ish. Let's say. Questions. See, speaking of actuators, I got that uh, space shuttle actuator in Arizona Twenty Three. Everybody looked at uh, what shows up when you switch the output switch to feedback. Yeah. Any questions on the, the modulating the two to ten volt actuators? I'll try clicking the switch off and then you'll hear the spring go. So that's your uh, that's your fail safe. With proportional actuators like these, that a lot of people refer to them as modulating, um, we're using 0 to 10, 
two to ten, uh, four to twenty. With the Belimo actuators, if you want to do four to twenty, you need a five hundred ohm resistor. Um, you don't have a switch on. We do not have a switch for the four yeah, to twenty. You need a resistor, an external. Yeah. And of course, we sell that five hundred ohm resistor. Honestly, quarter radio shake. No, I'd I'd like to sell them. If you want to save yourself some money, you know, I was going to say go to Radio Shack, but I don't even know if they sell them. Yeah, they got them. They, the radio they have, yeah, Radio Shack's got them. them. I bought a whole bag of them. That's yeah. where I used to buy them, so. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's where I used to see them, too, but I, I don't go to Radio Shack as much anymore, so I wasn't <laughs> sure what they still carry. It's harder to find them nowadays, but. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about <laughs> normal position, fail position, which. The, uh, the menu showed earlier, the agenda showed that it was going to be in a previous section. Before we get to this section, though, what, what would happen What happens on these actuators, on this actuator, if you take your white wire and put it into your red wire, your, your 2 to 10 and put it into 24, what's it going to do? Two positions. Any, any good? It's, it, the, the Limo 2 to 10 signal is rated for 35 volts. So if you put a tw the 24 volt signal in there, it's going to assume it's a 10 volt signal. And it's going to control it to position. It's going to drive it open. So if you if you're out there troubleshooting and you say this, that actuator's not working, like you know, to make sure it's not through the, the actuator. You can just take your control signal, put it into the into the uh, hot wire, and it'll it'll drive it full open. You're like, all right, the actuator's working. Any questions before I go into this section? Section usually brings up some questions. <laughs> um, what we're going to talk about here is we're going to talk about normal position. So the normal position is under normal operating conditions. What's going to happen if you remove the control signal? Which certainly could happen, you know, somebody comes along and accidentally you know, runs a piece of sheet metal across you know, during the building phase or whatever. You can cut the, the control signal. What's going to happen? Spring control is going to go back. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. This is this is a normal position. So you, right now you're just cutting the, the control signal, not the power. So the fail position is based on whether you have power or not. Um, can be set up for fail close or fail open, and that will be your, uh, your spring return or your electronic fail safe. So for example, here, we have an LF24-SR. We know that an LF is a 35 inch pound spring return. Uh, SR means it's a two to 10 volt control signal. Set up with two, two volts fully closed, 10 open, and it's fail open. So that means if two volts is closed, that means it's a normally closed actuator. Normally closed, fail open. So, with this scenario, what is going to happen if we lose the control signal when it's at 50%? So 50% would be we're at six volts. What's going to happen? Where, what's going to happen with the actuator? What position is it going to go to? It's going to close. It's going to close. So it's going to stay at the same volts. You just want to lose the control signal, right? Yeah. Lost control signal. It's going to go closed. And I'll tell you why. Because it's losing the control signal, so it's seeing zero volts. So it's thinking that that you've gone to the, the closed position, that you've given it a zero or two volt signal. So it's going to close. Because we've lost the control signal. We didn't lose power, it still has power. So that's why it's going to go closed. Same actuator, same setup, normally closed, fail open. We're at 50% open and we lose power. Now what's going to happen? Open. open. Now it's going to open because we've lost the power and it's a fail open actuator. So that spring's going to spring open. Now we have a non spring actuator.